We are the fluffy hippo. Coming at you from Play by Play. Okay. So today we are doing a science project, and our question is: When wet, when wet and dry sand are weighed, how does moisture affect the weight of the sand? Our hypothesis is that the wet sand is going to weigh more because it has been sitting in the water for a very long time and is more dense. To do this experiment, you have to follow some steps. These steps are to first to hike down to Payette Lake, which we are now, and then you got to get your cups and you got to get the sand right there doing it. Once you get the cups, you gotta flatten out the top and then put it in a bag so that the moisture stays fresh. And then we hike back to moss and then we get to measure everything. So we measure moisture first. We measure moisture in each thing and then we weigh them. After that, we do the math and we solve how much moisture is in each kind of sand. Also, we're doing two cups for each piece of sand so that we'll get a more ac accurate measure of each. So we use this graph to explain how we got our um, results in, so you can see it better. Uh, this is weight over here. It tells you how much weight it was and this is moisture and it tells you how much moisture it had in the sand. As you can see, uh, the shade was the lowest for both, and the water was the highest for both. As you can see, our results are um, out, but why did we get these results? We believe that the wetter sand was heavier because like, if you stack a bunch of rocks, you can't stack them perfectly fitting in between them, so we think that the water came down and filled in those gaps so that there was more stuff in the same amount of space. Also, did you notice that the shade sand was wetter than the was drier than the sun sand. We think that that's because since it rained last night, the shade sand, it was shaded over, so the rain just didn't even touch the ground. But in the sun, it got all wet, and so that ended up making the, sun, the sunnier sand heavier. But was our hypothesis supported? Yes, the wet sand was the heaviest of all. But why was this experiment important? Well, maybe somebody wants to know how heavy the sand is because they need to move sand or build something out of it. So, so this is um, the um, the errors and the uh, questions in the future. And one of the errors that we had was um, we didn't get enough like equipment and materials that we needed to really do. And so it was just really hard to like kind of do a lot of the things that we should have. Yeah, and it, the other thing, all the measurements were not quite to uh, shame. Yeah. So, um, and then a uh, future question is that I, I'm, I actually have one is what if that we um, were in the same area and we went back the next day, what would it be? Would it change or would it be the same?